Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to calculate utility elasticity. Here is our utility function, u equals x squared times y. Utility elasticity measures the percentage change in utility from a 1% increase in the consumption of a good. We're going to first calculate the utility elasticity of good x. We're going to take the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to x, and then we're going to multiply it by x, and then divide it by the utility function. So the first step here is the partial derivative. So the partial derivative of x squared times y with respect to x is just 2xy. Then we're going to multiply that by x and divide it by the utility function, where u is x squared times y. Now it's just a matter of simplifying. So this 2xy times x is 2x squared y, all divided by x squared times y. And so that's just going to leave us with 2. So the utility elasticity of good x is 2. Let's get the utility elasticity of good y. Similar setup. We're going to take the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good y, multiply that by y, and divide it by utility. So the partial derivative of the utility function here with respect to y is just going to be x squared. We're multiplying that by y. That's what we have in the formula here and dividing it by the utility function, where u is given by x squared times y. So this will simplify down to the following, which just equals 1. So utility elasticity good of good y is 1. So in this case, a 1% increase in the consumption of good y causes a consumer's utility to increase by 1%, whereas for the utility elasticity of good x, a 1% increase in the consumption of good x causes the utility for the consumer to increase by 2%. Let's look at a more general example. So just a general format for a Cobb-Douglas utility function. So utility elasticity of good x uh, is going to be given as follows. Once again, taking the partial derivative here, this time with respect to good x, we get this result here. Okay, The exponent on the x term comes down in front. We subtract 1 from it. That's all multiplied by x and all divided by the utility. Simplifying this up here a little bit, I'm going to add up the exponents on the x term. The minus 1 and plus 1 cancel, and this will just leave us with a. As for the utility elasticity of good y, Taking the partial derivative utility function with respect to good y, we get this result here. The exponent on the y term comes down in front, this b. We subtract 1 from that exponent. And now just a matter of simplifying. So adding up the exponents on the y terms, the minus 1 plus 1 cancels, being left with this. And that will just leave us with b. Okay, that's it.